Hey guys, it's Zmonkaka89 and I am back with another video. I was actually planning on uh, recording this a few days after my last video, but uh, to be honest, it was a lot tougher to think of what I was going to say for this video, you know? I don't think I've done many update videos like this where I just tell you about what I've been doing for the past few months and like what's been going on in my life and what I plan to do in the future and stuff like this, so we're just going to have a little one-on-one -on -one talk as I tell you about stuff that I that has been happening to me. Over these months I've survived an earthquake. Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. <laughs> I've explored in other artsy things like creating a short film. Maybe give photography a try too. Maybe even music on my old original channel. And actually, about a month ago, I was in San Francisco with my mom, uh, just visiting, and uh, we walked around Japantown. Check out my Facebook page. Uh, I've uploaded the pictures from Japantown on there, so you can uh, go check that out. I've actually picked up some really cool stuff there. So while in Japantown, I was in Kinokuniya for the very first time in my life. And uh, apparently there's a Kinokuniya in New York City for whatever reason. I, don't, I did not know that existed. But I'll start off with my most expensive purchase of the day. So this was about, I'd say, $60. This is a book by the artist Yusuke Nakamura. And he's done multiple, multiple artworks. In fact, he's done, I think, all of eight, the band Asian Kung Fu Generation's artwork for their albums and singles and stuff. So I found his first art book called Blue in there, and I thought that was really cool. It comes to about 40 bucks, but uh, I guess with the tax and everything, it, was, it came to about 60 bucks. And this book is just really nice. It's so thick, chock full of his different artworks. And a lot of them I can recognize because uh, they're uh, Asian Kung Fu Generation album covers, and I love that band a lot. For example, this artwork is uh, from Asian Kung Fu Generation's album Solfa, which came out in about it came out in 2005, I think. And uh, he's just got a ton of beautiful, vivid artwork in here, and it's just it's awesome. So I love this book, and I'm gonna continue looking through it. The next two pickups that I got are from my most favorite manga of all time. Like, I know that like you all think I've got an influence from Bleach, and for many years I loved Bleach, and I still read it. But Tokyo Ghoul is hands down my absolute most favorite manga right now. It's so good. Uh, words cannot even describe. So anyway, I bought uh, volume, what is this, volume 13 by Kinokuniya. Arimaki Sho on the cover. And I also bought Tokyo Ghoul Re, which is the sequel to Tokyo Ghoul uh, Volume 1 with Hayase Sasaki on the cover. And uh, I wanted to, I bought this one because I just wanted the chapter where he goes absolutely insane. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, spoil what happens, but it's a, this is, if you haven't read this series, please read it because it's, it's, it's amazing. It's just, this is nothing else to say. I've been living the usual expected high school senior year life. Juggling multiple college applications one after another while trying to maintain my schoolwork was, quite frankly, a lot more difficult than I thought. One school in particular wanted me to actually create a short film and that's why I, I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. It was a requirement when I was applying to their school so it, uh, it had to be done and I actually whipped this together in about a month. I'll put a link uh, on the video or in the description if you guys are curious and you want to see it. And around that time I was studying for a midterm for uh, one of my classes, so uh, let's just say that wasn't really a fun time. It was a really stressful week. Nevertheless, I eventually applied to all the colleges a while back, and I've heard back from almost all of them, all with acceptances and no uh, rejections, except for one deferral from Temple University. But that's okay, I've already decided where I'm going to be going for the next four years. So uh, now that we're on the topic of college, I actually got a few questions in the comments section in my last video regarding it. And uh, there was one guy called Riley the Gamer, and he asked, I promised to address his question, he asked, also, what do you plan on going to college for, or is it just basics? Alright, so addressing uh, what I'm going to college for, uh, this all started last year when I was actually choosing a major, 
and uh, I was thinking to myself, what, what can I see myself doing in the future and actually enjoy doing and doing for a very, very long time? And what came to me was video production and cinematography. And this was because at the time I was taking uh, video production classes in my high school. I figured I really enjoyed it and I actually wanted to learn more and more about the subject. I figured I already had a, a somewhat solid base, I guess you could say, with this YouTube channel. Um, even though the videos are not extremely complicated. And basically that's what I've been trying to pursue for the past year and a half. So ever since junior year I've been becoming more and more familiar with that field and that, that major. And eventually I started scouting out schools that had that specific field. So I made my list and I applied to those schools. My major for college will be uh, cinematography and uh, video production. And some of you may be wondering, wait, Zimanga 89 you do manga. And you're not going to pursue something in art, uh, something with drawing or graphic art, anything like that, sequential art. I absolutely love Japanese culture, whether it be historical or like present day pop culture. It's, it's so fascinating to me. I, I was drawn into it for multiple years and it's, it still is like a big fascination of mine, as well as manga. It actually all started with manga, to be honest. Dragon, seeing Dragon Ball Z when I was like four on TV, and I eventually started reading the manga. And when I was 13 and 14, I was so sure that when I grew up, I wanted to move to Japan and draw a one-shot, hand it into Shueisha, and try to get it published, and eventually uh, get an anime ado adaption of it. Basically what you read in Bakuman, like, that's the dream. I was so bent over that, I, I like, I... That was the dream back in the day, and I absolutely wanted to do that in my future. But around junior year, when I was given the task to decide what I actually wanted to do for myself in the future, I realized more and more as I matured and through the years that that dream may not be as realistic as I thought. I'm not saying it's unrealistic, it's certainly possible if you have like the drive and talent for it. And like, maybe this is just being modest, but I don't think I have the talent for it. It's definitely like, a hobby that I've enjoyed doing since childhood. I've done it for years and years. And even now, I still draw manga. It's it's become part of who I am, and it's part of how I draw things now. Uh, even if I draw realistically, you can tell that there's still a slight simple or like cartoonish vibe to it, if that makes sense. But yeah, I guess you could say that manga, as of now, isn't exactly my main focus in life. And I know that's probably gonna make like you guys, the watchers, sad, be like, oh, does that mean you'd be quitting your channel? No. Definitely not. Hell no. Every day I've just been practicing more and more to try and hone my skills as an aspiring film producer or even photographer. And it's just, I've spent so much time on it that it's overtaken manga as my top priority. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm completely abandoning manga at, like, completely, or this channel. No, I'm still gonna keep this channel running, so don't worry. It's just something that I thought that I should probably let you guys know and be aware of. It is also contributing to the lack of videos in this past, I'd say, year and a half. And it's, it's really because of that. And I just felt like now would be really a good time to tell you guys, now that I'm finally settling down, all the stressful times are over, college apps are done, and I've received them back. Um, now it's really just living out the rest of senior year in high school. I feel like it's my job to let you guys know uh, what's going on in my life uh, outside of this channel as opposed to just like manga related stuff and I, I hope you guys will support me for that. But yes, I hope that answers your question. I am going to college for basic stuff, like I will be taking like the basic stuff like core classes like math, science, history, whatever, but uh, my major focal point will be on something art related but not like drawing art related. I'm talking about like film and photography, that kind of stuff. I still love drawing manga. It's it's an amazing hobby and gift that I've honed over the last many years, maybe even a decade that I've been drawing. I wouldn't just throw that all away just to pursue a different outlet of art. So yeah, I've talked about my past, the past year and a half. Uh, I've talked about my future. Uh, I don't think I've talked about my present. Currently, I'm just still trying to live out the rest of senior year and just trying to keep up with work and everything. Um, I am still working on Slay Me No Scythe, which is the one shot that I've been working on for like the past few millennia. 
Yeah, I, I haven't touched it in like a month and a half, to be honest. And I, that's, I have so much work, so uh, I hope you guys will understand. But I will like try to put the pedal to the metal and like work on it like hell during summer because it's been a while since I've touched a nib pen, to be honest, and like actually inked out a manuscript. And I, you know what? I really miss it. I, I miss drawing manga, even though if it's not like my focus right now. It's still like a great hobby that I still love to do every day. So that's basically it. That's me just living in the present and kind of having a, a general idea of what I'm going to be doing in the future. So thanks for listening to my talk, guys. Um, more videos to come soon. If you like this video, don't forget to give a like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to most importantly subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think. I want to hear you guys' input on it. Um, yeah, this is just an update video, so yeah, so I hope you guys will just appreciate it. And uh, Zumanga Kaden, I'm not out. Peace, guys. Bye.